we're at Our Lady of Mercy Parish, and I have with me Pat Clark and Betsy Kennedy, two of the members of our parish, and they're members of our Women's Guild. And this past summer, they compiled a cookbook for the parish. Ladies, thank you for being here. I see you have a copy of your cookbook. Tell me a little bit how that came to be. We've been looking for a fundraising project, and during the pandemic, 58 parishioners responded, and we have a multicultural parish, so we have recipes from 15 different ethnic groups. We have 188 recipes in the pan. How many copies have you sold already? 350 plus. What is your recommendation that I cook for Cooks for Collars? I suggest that you make Bridget's Scottish shortbread. Bridget Myrna was one of our parishioners who was a delight to know. People, when they come to our bake sales, is there any of Bridget's shortbread left, you know? And we sell out right away. Well, this recipe is dedicated to Bridget Myrna, and it was her own special recipe. She was from, born in Bathgate, Scotland in 1921, and she was a member of the parish at the time known as St. Bernard's. As you may know, St. Bernard's, St. Michael, and St. Joseph parishes consolidated in 2008 to become Our Lady of Mercy. Well, Bridget was a great woman. She was a teacher at the Hay School in Wilson for over 30 years, and she was very involved with the parish. A uh, Eucharistic minister, she would visit the homebound the sick. She was involved with the Altered Rosary Society, the Catholic Daughters. Um, she did meals and wheels. She taught CCD. Uh, but what's really interesting is when you say her name, many people associate her name with her delicious shortbread. So I'd like to prepare that for you today. What we'll do is we'll take five cups of flour, one cup of sugar, and one pound of unsalted butter. Now the thing is you need to leave the butter out to, to become room temperature before you begin. Simply we'll take the one cup of sugar and the butter at room temperature and begin to massage that by hand until it forms a nice consistency and it's mixed thoroughly. After that, we begin taking little handfuls of the flour and slowly adding that to your mixture and allowing that to coalesce. Once we have used all the flour, it should form somewhat like a, a putty-like uh, texture that we'll know that it's, it's good. So flatten it out on a tray, a nine by 13 uh, baking plan, and we'll basically kind of crimp the edges with a fork and put a couple fork holes on the top and then put it in the oven for at 325 for approximately one hour. However, I would definitely check it at 50 minutes and monitor that so you don't burn it. Let's do this. Put the butter in. A little sugar. So you just take simply a little handful of flour like this and begin to just kind of massage that in. I assume this is the case, but I encourage you to wash your hands Continue to mix it until it gets almost putty-like. How do you know when you're done mixing? And pretty much you just look at this and you see how as you move it around the bowl, basically leaves the bowl clean. Now we'll just place it in a nine by 13 bowl. And then just use the tines of the fork to poke holes. And there you have it is now ready to go into the oven at 325 for about an hour. Patience is a virtue. Let's get ready to take it out. Nice. Mm. So they recommend cutting it with a sharp knife while it's still hot. It'll look delicious, and let me tell you, it smells fantastic. ¿Qué piensas? Suculento. Tastes great. I'd like a glass of milk. Rico. Delectable. Sabroso. Fantastic. Very Bridget. Delicioso. That is good. Crujiente. Frank, what do you think? Tasty. Muy rico. <laughs> Very good. Very buttery. Love it. Delicious. I have another. This is scrumptious. Mm. 
This is the best. Welcome to Our Lady of Mercy Parish Rector. <laughs> Our Bridget Scottish, excuse me. Our Bridget, Bridget's Scottish shortbread for about an hour. But what I would do is begin checking it at 90 minutes. The, 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 the. This could be hard turning off the uh, camera here. We do take two. <laughs> a nine by 13 uh, baking plan. Look at and the camera. The development of a delicious recipe. Delicious recipe. We should mention the cake. Two of our parishioners here.